Hello, today I'll show you how to fix the 50.7f.00 fuser error as you can see on the screen. This error has to do with the fuser unit and today I'm going to be repairing using a, a HP M830 printer to fix the problem. You can see from the label on the printer i will show you how to fix it the problem has to do basically with the fuser unit so the fuser unit to be able to remove the fuser unit you need to open the the left hand side cover as you can this is where the left hand side cover is so i'm going to pull it out gently just like i did and then gently pull out the duplexer this is the duplexer and this is the green tab that is that, that is locking it I'm going to pull the green tab down and gently remove the duplexer. This is the duplexer. You have to be very careful when removing the duplexer. So I'll remove the duplexer with both hands. I have been holding the camera with one hand. So I'll release the camera now and so that I can hold it with both hands. Then after the duplexer, the next thing you're going to remove is the fuser units. Now to remove the fuser units, there are two blue tabs on that's each side of the fuser unit you are going to uh, press it down just like I'm doing right now so that they become horizontal you can see they are vertical before I'm going to make them horizontal like this you can see the way both of them are now horizontal so I gently pull out the fuser unit so this is the fuser unit I So this is the fuser unit. The first thing I'm going to check on the fuser unit is the gears because basically 50.7F.00 fuser error has to do with the gear. Look, you're going to see this white gear here. It is not engaging with the other gear that is on the printer itself. So when the printer spins at startup, it doesn't spin with it. So the gears are okay. I'll show you how to fix a problem on the printer. Now this is the printer. I'm going to check. This is the side where the gear is. You can see the white gears there. And this plastic, something is wrong with it. You can see this leg is supposed to be inside, tucked inside, but it's outside. Just like the second one, you can see the other part of it. They are tucked inside, but this is tucked outside. So I'll get my screwdriver and gently tuck it back inside. And that is one of the reasons why the fuser unit is not able to get to the gears on the, on the printer. There is a gear on the fuser unit that is not engaging with these white uh, gears you can see here right now. So, and that is because this uh, plastic is not tucked in properly. It is um, tilting downward, thereby not allowing the gears to be able to engage with the gears on the printer so to be able to do that i'm going to push with my screwdriver the legs of this black plastic back inside the way it ought to be so that it will allow the white gears to engage with the gears on the printer okay you can see okay i'm going to pull it out out a bit so that you can see what i'm doing this is the leg I'm talking to you about and then I'm gently going to pull it inside okay it is inside right now but most of the time now that it's inside sometimes the problem might not be solved because over time because it has been this way for some time it has worn out so even when you put the fuser in it it will still come up with the error which is why I'm going to be using a I'm going to be using this like a pad to be able to hold it up this is a, a piece of paper folded and the reason for this is so that you can just hold it up pad up the the fuser unit so that the gears can engage the gears on the fuser unit can engage with the gears on the printer and then once you turn on the printer you hear the fuser unit make this um, sound and that shows that um, the fuser in the gears on the fuser unit has fully engaged with the gears on the printer so i've been able to do that right now and i'm going to start the printer 
I'm going to start the printer right now and hopefully initializes properly the way it ought to be. Okay, so I'm starting the printer right now. You can see this is the the is initializing right now. I'm going to wait for it. But from the uh, sound I can hear, I think it's going to work perfectly because the gears on the fuser unit has been able to engage with the gears on the printer and everything is working seamlessly right now. So if you haven't done already, uh, I would like you to like and subscribe to, to the channel. I have a lot of videos on how to fix different office equipment from printers to scanners, CCTV, PABX, intercom, uh, net network cable wiring, um, network ports, and different kinds of office equipment um, are on my, on my channel. Just like and subscribe. So it has been able to initialize properly the way it ought to be. So I'm going to uh, print out a test page. I'm going to print out. Uh, I'm going to print out a report from the printer. So I'm going to go ahead and press the print button here. You can see it is printing. So I'll go over to the side of the printer, the left hand side, and I'm going to go and watch uh, as the paper comes out. Um, bear in mind I've removed the the um, the tray that holds the paper once it comes out. So I'm just going to, with my hands, I'm going to hold the tray against it while the paper comes out so basically that is just how to fix fix the problem is a minor issue once you check the fuser it is not broken most of the time it is broken but if you're lucky and the fuser your fuser in it is not broken you don't have to replace it and completely just go through the process i i just put uh, i just showed you right now the problem is going to be solved and if preventure yours is broken you have to replace the fuser unit or if you have another fuser unit that you can get that part from better you can just get that part and replace it and the problem is solved so this is where the paper is supposed to come out of right now i'm going to you can see it is coming out right now the way it ought to be there is no more error the 50.7f the 00 error has been resolved thank you